hello there guys uh, another video now about the vortex tool and the swirl tool those tools you'll find them in the deform tab vortex and swirl now actually they are similar to the twist tool but they have a different fall off similar to the twist tool that means that there are actually axis rotate tool presets but with a different falloff. The vortex tool is the axis rotate tool with a cylindrical falloff and the swirl tool is the axis rotate tool with a radial falloff. Now let's see that in action. I'm going to drop the tool here and select this mesh and hide this one. Now we have the deform tab. Let me make a selection over here and I'm going to select the vortex tool. Now you see we have the axis rotate tool and a cylindrical falloff. You'll see that here the axis rotate tool cylindrical falloff in the pipeline. Now sometimes it's difficult to see the falloff so I'm going to raise it up. Now with the cylindrical falloff this will not be a problem to raise it up because it will still work all the way down there. If I move it in another axis it will be different. So now when I uh, drag the, for the axis rotate tools handle you'll see that the geometry on top and on the bottom is being twisted actually but it's called vortex because it's with a cylindrical falloff. I can change my falloff interactively and both sides will update and if you when you when I move it up and down you see no change because the radial uh, the cylindrical fall off only uh, acts all the way through if I move it in this direction on the X or in the Z that then it will change but not when I move it up and down so this is the vortex tool going to drop the tool <coughs> Sorry about that. And undo. Okay. Redo that selection. And now I'm going to do the swirl. So again the axis rotate tool. But this time we have a radial fall off with action axis auto and action center auto. So I can change the fall off. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. And this time when I move it up it will make a difference because when I move it all the way up and I rotate the action axis they it will not deform anything but when I make the radial fall off bigger right now it will deform the geometry within the region of the fall off so if I set the fall off above this selection make it a bit bigger in that direction then it will only have an effect on the geometry with inside the radius of the fall off. So just wanted to show you the vort vortex tool and the swirl tool similar to the twist tool but the vortex tool has is the axis rotate tool with a cylindrical fall off and the swirl tool is the axis rotate tool with a radial fall off. So again these are presets these are tools that you can create yourself by choosing the axis rotate tool and then setting different fall off and different action centers and again like I explained in the previous videos make sure to see Andy Brown's video on Luxology TV on how to create your own presets and how to use the pipeline. Hope you find it useful. Bye!